Welcome to Chicago's Cousins Traveling. Subscribe so you can come and see the world with us. So after spending our two days in LA, we are now on our seven day adventure on the seas on Connor Panorama, heading to the Long Beach port. And as you pass by, you will see the Queen Mary, which is like a replica of the Titanic. It is retired now, but you can take tours on that boat if you want. Once you get to the cruise port, the porters will be there to take your check bags. But if you do have carry-ons, you can just go and get in your designated line for your time of boarding. Trust me, it gets packed very quickly we were at 10 a.m boarding and as soon as we got in line the line grew and got super long so make sure you're getting in the right line for your time because they do check we are cruising today say are you ready to cruise for your birthday mom yes sir so this is the cruise terminal when you enter. That's the guest service line. And then we all sit here and wait for our boarding number to board the ship. It's a big dome. So here I am boarding Carnival Panorama here in Long Beach. Look at how big it is. And this is still like one of their newest ships, even though Mardi Gras is, came out after this one. But because of COVID, it didn't sail much. So it's kind of new. So this is the ship for Long Beach Port and with Carnival. And I am a new blogger, so I was enjoying my vacation. I did not record as much as I wanted to, but I did get a lot of footage to show you guys what I like to do on a cruise, as well as give you an idea of this ship, because I love Carnival ships. So I've been on about five, I think now. And this is always a new experience on every ship. We wanted to experience sailing out of Long Beach on the West Coast. We normally sail out of Orlando or Miami. So I definitely wanted to see what it is like sailing on the West Coast since I'm going to do an Alaska and Hawaiian cruise. So I also want to give a major shout out and kudos to my senior citizens and people who are disabled because embarkation day is rough not only you i didn't film it but you have to go up so many ramps you also have to go down that long gangway and then you also have to go down the long hall and as you can see they are greeting you when you arrive because it is a long process um getting onto the ship and we still have to walk this long hallway. So I much love to people who are disabled or senior citizens. Make sure you have don't have that much to carry on or you have someone that can help you because you it is a long process. Even for people who are fit, it is a lot. They complain as well. So, but you can't complain too much because, hey, we are heading to the fun on the fun ship. My main reason I've been selling with Carnival is because they are indeed the fun ship. All of the fun is on this boat and I, I'm going to keep sailing with them, but I am going to switch to Royal Caribbean for a little bit. But right now, this is all about the fun. And this is a Vista class ship, Carnival Panorama. I've done Horizon, I've done Vista, and I can't wait to see what this ship gives me. So when you do get on, you are getting on on deck four, and we are going to be going in at the Liquid Lounge right here, right where the elevators are. And this can change, you know, it depends on embarkation where they decide. Some people get on at the casino. It varies. And they do have the new modern um, elevators that tell you what letter to go to for certain floors. You have to do it for each party. People were not reading the instructions and the elevators wasn't working to the best for them because you have to hit it for how many people are getting on the elevator for it to work right. Now we are in the main area of the panorama the bar. Plays. There you can see the bar better. And this is where they throw a lot of the parties. And they're getting Halloween the white party. out now. And October, the month of October is all Halloween themed. They, they email you, tell you to bring costumes. So make sure you look out for that. This is the guest service area where you can go to handle anything on your sale and sale account. And um, the decorations were slowly coming up as we were boarding. 
But you definitely want to make sure you join groups so you'll know what the themes are because there was a white night, a glow night. You have to be a frequent cruiser or join the groups to know. Here is the casino area. They have everything a casino could have like Vegas, roulette, craps, slots, everything. Blackjack. And now we're just walking along deck four, looking at the beautiful artwork. Beautiful art. So guys, Pig and Anchor. Guys, right Pig and Anchor has free on sea days for a couple of and hours, their menu. lunch, but then they also have the paid menu in the evening. For the paid time. And it's not expensive, so you definitely can right. take advantage. I recommend doing both. Since this is a considered a sea day, we're gonna try the free food first. And here's the free menu. For pig and anchor and i mean they have everything macaroni baked beans greens andouille sausage baked chicken ribs and it's all good <laughs> no complaints at all and it's only open for about two hours on sea days so we get three sea days you get three times to try this out i recommend you schedule it to at least try it and it was delicious as we sat and wait for our cabin to be ready the cabins are ready at 1 30 it was like about one o'clock I, I already posted the full room tour of my room as well as my mother room for the extended app havana app and the premium havana app make sure you check out that video later in this video i will show my cousin she had a havana interior room it was the last havana room when she booked um she couldn't get a balcony unfortunately but the interior room is actually most popular so i will show you guys that room for those of you who don't care to have a balcony but this is the view of the long beach port and it's very beautiful so this is going to be the blue iguana they serve tacos burritos everything you want mexican style and here. now we are headed to the, sail away party. to the sail away party and it is lit and you can see my mom is excited she already got her drink so we gotta go to the bar and this carnival ships are now back at full capacity. So it was about 4,300 people on this boat. They said it was their first full capacity ship since COVID. So I am excited to see everybody back cruising again, having fun. And this is the area where every, all of the parties, all of the events, the mega deck party, the silent listening party, the Halloween party is all gonna be right here. This is your main area by the beach pool. And there's the beach pool there. This is Carnival 50th birthday, so they had, you know, a lot of great things for their celebration. She's having a fun already with her little short blonde hairstyle. Mm -hmm. And my mom was pumped up. It's her birthday week, so she's already excited and to be back cruising. Look at this guy. He's just having fun there. You know, that's what cruising is. Cruising is about getting out, meeting new people. Um, and, and just being able to do different things on a vacation versus just sitting at a resort. And I had to start off with my kiss on the lips and so did my mom. And as you can see, more and more people came down since we're about to sail away. And I actually met some YouTube bloggers, a lot of them, and they some of them gave me tips on what to do because they knew I was a new blogger. So now I know what all I need to get as far as equipment and what I need to do. So my next couple of blogs I'll be doing will get better and better. I'm doing all my own editing and everything. So trust me, things will get better, but I'm learning as I am going. And as you can see, people are starting to dance. They're just waiting around for Marty, the cruise director, to come and tell everyone everybody what to do to get everybody pumped up for this big vacation for seven days amongst this mega ship and everybody was friendly I mean you meet some of the best people on cruises because they're all in good moods they're all in vacationing so I have met some amazing people so after the sail away party we went and walked along the deck five which is my favorite deck and as you pass by Java Blue which is like the Starbucks of the ship. You can get all your coffee, your spiked milkshakes, your regular milkshakes, and they're all included in the cheers package. So take advantage. This is the dream studio where you can actually have professional pictures taken 
even um, just the pictures they do daily around the boat, but I have not done the professional pictures yet. I am going to do that once I cruise with my significant other. Also on deck five is the promenade. So it has all seating outside along that walk. And again, make sure you check out guys, Pig and Anchor. Even their paid menu is super inexpensive and it's good. And you can come here to download your pictures to your mobile phone, buy your picture package, print your pictures, however you choose to purchase your pictures. Even if you don't do the Dream Studio, even if you just take the regular pictures daily, you can still come and have them printed out for you. And so we are walking um, by the Bonsai Sushi Bar, going to the Alchemy Bar. And the Alchemy Bar is my favorite bar by far. This is where they do the daily LGBTQ meet and greet. They have the best bartenders. They are all live, friendly. And uh, you get to see all of the gay people on the boat. And I have met some great people. And the good thing about having an LGBTQ uh, meet and greet is everybody don't look gay. So you don't, you'll be surprised at the people who are gay on the ship, including me. A lot of people say I don't look gay. So never go by that. So now that we have sailed away, I am, you know, showing you the view I love, which is the aft view. I could sit here literally for hours and write daydream, whatever it is I want to do, pray and relax my mind. And I love to do it in this atmosphere of being at one with nature. Um, this is poetry to me. Although I am a poet, this is poetry to me just to be able to live it, look at it. This is what I love to do Why I love cruising. I do love to travel on resorts as well, but cruising is just a, a step up for me. And you can see this beautiful view in the Havana areas right below. And we chill pretty much for it until night, until this dinner. This is the Havana bar area exclusive for the Havana guests as we are. And it has some nice sitting chairs here. As you can see Havana has the best Very sitting area with the Cuban theme and sombrero mm -hmm. heads and they do live music here it's kind of chill right now but later it'll be live but a really nice section Every place, every night, this bar. place was live, lit with people. And then this is the, the best pool bar as well. Area exclusive. You have to have this Havana handband to go at this point. So this is exclusive. This is the reason I get this cabin because here's the Havana bar out here. Seats. And you can see all the towel animals, the chairs, and then there's the pool, hot tub, hot tub over there, and then all along there are chairs and loungers. So this is where we'll be chilling on sea days and at night on the boat, chairs down that way as well, and all of the animals here. Just beautiful. Time for the club. Let's see what's popping. There's a lamb right now. Waiting to get in on the fourth floor. Right. So this is the club. It's just opening. And we're about to see how this is about to turn out tonight. But this is the view before everybody get in here. Now, I didn't record too much of the club sessions because, of course, I'm enjoying myself. I am on vacation, so I was partying. Drinks were flowing. I did laugh. We did laugh at the dancers because they tried to do the slide. Um, they all were messing up at first, but then they eventually got it together. You know, everyone was just partying, having fun, taking advantage of their drink packages. So liquor definitely was flowing in here. And after so many drinks, I went to my room and passed out and woke up and here is day two. And I always like to come out on the balcony in the morning and just look at the view, pray 
and record or write whatever my daily affirmation is. I love to do it here. And today is our first sea day. So sea days is when you can take advantage of the Havana area the most. Also take advantage of everything aboard the ship. There's activities every day. Make sure you're checking the uh, activities from the app so you'll, you can schedule things out to know what you definitely want to go to. So I love to do that also. And we went to the sea day brunch and this is the view from the brunch dining table and they have everything you will want for breakfast everything mimosas so anything that you Heroes can think of bar if you want to come in here and watch the games and sit down and chill this is the bar there's my cousin she tried to act shy but trust me she's not <laughs> <laughs> she has me doing all of the recording and filming, of course, while she parties nice. and gets drinks. Thank you. And I'm trying something a little different here. We then went to the Havana area and... This pretty much was how it was most of the time. The most we probably seen was 20 people out here at the most. And it was for a short time because everybody going off to do different things versus the tide and the beach pools are packed with kids, people, you, the Havana area, you are going to get this where not too many people are out. And of course, I took full advantage of that, feeling myself a little bit here in the sun and just enjoying the vacation, enjoying the hot tub and the privacy, not loud kids hanging around they the bar is the best they made my favorite kiss on the lips look perfect and they also have a juice maker a fresh juice squeezer and it had the whole bar smelling like oranges so I mean if you definitely want to have that private experience upscale definitely take advantage of the Havana section it is worth that price it is worth the upgrade trust me and also, they knew I was alone in my cabin, so the stewardess made me a girlfriend here. <laughs> I have my dress as I got ready for kingdom. elegant night. Fashion, all sequins handmade, and I think dressing up for elegant night is super important so to I me on a cruise. Crystal ball bag. A lot of people don't like to dress up. They complain, but look, up. Carnival's not going to get rid of the it. Ankle, shoes. Because it's part so of the experience the to dress up, also to take your pictures. I think it's and then of course, traditional. Gotta have your Frequent cruisers love elegant nights. To match. Um, and I definitely have to have my accessories. So getting dressed for elegant night elegant is my thing. Night. And what's funny is me and my cousin did not plan to wear sequins together. And we both did anyway. We grew up in the same house. So we both wore sequins and we got tons of, I mean, people literally stopped all around giving all three of us, even my mother here, compliments the whole night. They were telling us they were so happy to see people dressing up for elegant night, keep it alive. And we killed it. We went to the main dining room for dinner. And we had the cocktail, I had the cocktail shrimp, the blue cheese salad, salmon, mashed potatoes and veggies, and my favorite dessert, creme brulee. After dinner, we then went to our the comedy clubs and we got there a little late and still got a seat in the back and it wasn't bad. The seats were very viewable. Um, we went to see Jerome, which was super, he was the funniest comedian on there. There's tons of comedians. He was just too funny. So after the comedy show, we headed to the Havana section. And as you can see, the Havana is always lit like this. They're all partying. They're all drinking. We let the drinks flow yes, using our cheers package. The and they were salsa, dancing, all kinds of things going on. Great atmosphere. And we stayed there pretty much for the full night as the drinks kept flowing because of my cousin. Thank her. And everything is closed. Pizza. 
24-7 on Carnival ships. And I did bite into so it. So it's 2 a.m. and I'm back in my cabin. And I have a question. What in the hell are you guys going through, you drinkers, that you can drink this hard-ass liquor like this? I have the drink package, me and my cousin. She refused to leave the bar until she got as close to her 15 drink limit. Like, how in the hell can y'all drink that shit? I get it for fruity drinks and barely finish them. But she can drink tequila and my mother, Hennessy, all goddamn day. What the hell are they going through? What are y'all going through that y'all can drink that hard ass liquor all day? I can't. The room is spinning. <laughs> right, puppy. So after crashing from all of that drinking my cousin had me do, I had an early spa date. Uh, so I had a spa appointment for a facial and a massage. And as I was walking to the spa, I passed past the Thai beach bar. And this is, like I said, the area where all the parties are. It's empty right now. So now and then I went to deck 12 area. to my spa appointment. Deck 12. And up here, it smells beautiful. They have thermal spas. They have. I didn't record everything because, of course, I want to enjoy my spa day. But they have everything you can think of that a spa should have on board this is the waiting area where you can have your drink while you wait for your masseuse or whoever is going to service you come get you and um, definitely take advantage of all of the thermal spas that they have and sweat as well as the pool but this view up here is amazing very relaxing this is the massage room here where you go and get your massage done at the Cloud Nine Spa. So, of course, one of the things about going to the spa, they are going to try to sell you their products, which they use the Illuminous products. Now, Illuminous products are not cheap. They are very expensive, but you can get a good sale on the ship. And so I decided she recommended for me because I told her I work a lot. I love to soak in a tub. She recommended this Illuminous Aching Muscle Bubble Bath. And I mean to tell you, it is great. I am definitely going to be reordering it. It's something I love to use. It feels so good to my skin and I have sensitive skin so it works perfect for me then she when I got my massage she put on this instant refreshing gel that heats up and it's not it doesn't smell like icy hot or anything like that it smells good it's very cool as it goes on to your skin very good for any aches and pains you may have for your neck or legs and then with my facial because of my skin tone she recommend I go to sleep every night with this because she said it'll keep hydrating my skin I have very oily oily skin so this helps with that keeping everything hydrated so I, I actually loved all the products I'm still using them um, so just beware when you go to the spa they're gonna upsell you these are about $210 for all three of these products so I then of course had to go get me some burritos from Blue Iguana Cantina they do have the taco section over there the tacos they had steak chicken and fish and for the burritos you can get the steak and the chicken and they have and shrimp and they have all of the things you would like to have. And we went to the Havana area and we all laughed at my cousin, scared to get in the cold water. See her there. There was a guy yesterday, made it made it as far as she did, left, came back, made it two steps lower, left, came back, went to his belly button, fucked up. Finally, the fourth try, he finally made it in. Oh, wow. <laughs> this guy was so cool. He was in the pool on, every day, and we just had, he just had us laughing. But he, me and my, we all were laughing at my cousin because she was so scared of this she cold water. And it was like 90 you degrees. Get in this hot, get in this water. Come on now. <laughs> So I we spent most of the day in the Havana area and I am a swimmer. I love to swim. I love water. So I am just feeling it right now and it was hot so why not? And me and my cousins like two peas of a pod. That's my sister right there. And my second towel animal was an elephant and I went back to the room and chill for costume party. <laughs> And wait till you see my mom. I was an empress. 
my mom was a bumblebee and my cousin was a jailmate and we had a ball we went to the mega deck halloween party but first we went to fahrenheit 555 for my mother's birthday dinner and then we went to the mega halloween party this is the steakhouse The food was delicious. I give it a six star. Everything was great. Tasty. The service was good. Uh, the salad. The lobster bisque. My mom got the lobster bisque. Soup. Nice. I'm not a lobster person, so not my thing. But the steaks were all great. Ribeye. Ribeye. Looks good. We did not eat all of our entrees, but we saved a little room so we can try dessert. And it was my mom's birthday. I thought that was really nice of them to do that for her. The chef came to our table and greeted us. And I've never really had that happen before. So then we head up to the mega deaf party. And this is where the Halloween party is held. People did know to bring costumes. So a lot of people did check their emails. A lot of people didn't. But for this to be the first week in October, most people had costumes. And we were really happy about that because, um, you know, I love the themes. And they have the white party, the glow party, so many things. So make sure you are in groups checking what that cruise is going to have for your um whenever you do take a cruise because you never know what night is what um we're frequent cruisers so we pretty much know what to bring and what to pack and we always cruise in october so we already knew it was a halloween theme but the people who did know they were so mad like i didn't know they were doing it so then we headed to the lounge again the club yeah. Oh, yeah, he don't. Oh, he's yeah, that's right. Oh. What y'all finna do tonight? Get lit? Uh, no. he yeah. Oh, he <laughs> he calls us out. Look at these little don't close their bathroom doors. Look, we were drunk. <laughs> This was the funniest experience at the nightclub. So another girl, she brought a blow up doll as part of her costume and they partied with this doll on this dance floor all night. It was hilarious what they were doing with this doll. I mean, they had the whole club cracking up. I mean, this guy really went in with the dial. And she just over there letting them just do their thing with this dial. Very fun people. They were very fun. As the night got started, this was before a lot of people hit the dance floor. But, you know, every night was an experience. And there's our Marilyn Monroe. Their costumes are pretty dope. But we partied all night and went to sleep. Of course, another night of drinking. Make sure if you like poetry, you check out my book, Shana A. You can go to www.lesbianerotic.net. So today we are here in Puerto Vallarta and we have an excursion book to go on a private island called Las Platas. It's an hour boat ride there and back and four hours on the beach resort. So here is Puerto Vallarta from my side. 
of the boat, the aft. And it is beautiful. It's nice and sunny, a hot day. So perfect for our excursion. Puerto Vallada. And I am ready to visit Puerto Vallada. And as soon as you get off the boat, you don't have to go far from your tours. Your tour guides are all going to be right there as soon as you get off with their with their um, poster, letting you know where to go so they can take you. We were going to La Calitas Island, so we had to take another boat. So we had to walk about a good four or five blocks. If you wanted to walk, you could also take the shuttle. But we it was about a four block walk to get to the other boat um, on the pier. And that's what we were doing, waiting for our group. And then we got on the boat. And there is the ship as we are on the boat heading to the private island. And it is some amazing views of uh, Puerto Vallada. It's about an hour boat ride to get to this island. And they did have fun entertainment, you know, entertaining us while we were waiting. They also had alcoholic drinks. They had rum. They had tequila, all included in this excursion. So this was an all-inclusive excursion. And uh, everything was really, really nice. I have been to Puerto Vallada by land before, so I know the Puerto Vallada experience, but I have never did it through cruise. So this is new to me to do it by boat. And I love seeing the views. I am a sea person. I love the ocean. The ocean is a mystery to me. I love sea animals. So here they are. They're all going to dance for us. They let us know what all you can do on this excursion because they can take you to see sea lions. You can kayak. A lot of different activities you can do. And so they were letting us know. This is an optional activity for all of you, and you have to go to Now, this guy, they told him to dance, and he just went all out into dancing like he was having too much fun. They had to stop him. <laughs> it was hilarious. So now, as soon as you get to the island, they're going to take you to go eat. There's this bus buffet style food. So this is the La Calitas And then it has different sections. They have this section with the hammocks. Mm-mm. And then they had sections with chairs, a bar, all different bars all around. Oh, yeah, now I see it. Wow. So we just enjoyed the relaxing day at the beach. It was super hot this day, so we definitely got into the ocean. And again, I'm always feeling myself. Taking up all of the vitamin D from the sun. The water felt good here. The only thing about Mexico is the jellyfishes, so I didn't go far into the water. Cause I'll say she gonna fall. My cousin was like, no, 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 I'm not going all the way out there. But of course, what I do, she gonna do and vice versa. And we just enjoyed the day on this beach. My mom was sitting in her chair, chilling, listening to music, play, being a DJ for everyone. And we are now heading back. And this one, this lady, she had one too many drinks that they brought her on stage to dance. I mean, it was a full entertainment for this excursion. I give this excursion about a four. Once I got back to we my room, there was my towel animal. Puerto Vallada. We leave at 9 p.m. And then the next stop will be Mazalan. And this is a beautiful view from port side, aft. Then we went to Gigi's for dinner. And oh my God, Gigi's is amazing. Uh, it has a lot, it's Asian style food. And they give you a lot. So we could not eat all of this. It was insane how much food you get. Nice atmosphere also. They start you off with soup and mozzarella, then some spring rolls. 
and then all of this other stuff noodles shrimp fried rice pot stickers then desserts they give you each dessert for you to try everything was great we headed back to the havana area for the night had drinks and rested because we knew we had mazelan Good the morning. next day today we are here in mazelan and this port is an industrial port so it's not all beautified like the other ports but um, i will be showing the beautiful part about this city once we arrive at the port we're still slowly getting in the park but today is mazelan and we have a salsa and salsa tour today at a resort and also has a pool and a beach so i will be letting you know how that goes now i'm a little optimistic here about the excursions because we let my mother pick the excursions because it was her birthday i'm more of adventurous so not too excited about this one but we headed to get our coffee and then to get off the boat let's this is the java blue menu And once we got off the boat, we headed to our tour, which puts us on a tour bus um, to take us to the Salsa and Salsa, which is at a resort. And the views are amazing. I want to do this excursion, um, this actual city, I mean, I want to do it as a resort vacation because Mazalan is beautiful. It's so much to do there. I didn't even know that it was a party city like Cancun, but it's more sophisticated. And it's just beautiful views all along this ocean boulevard. Monuments, a lot of history behind this city is all along this ocean boulevard. And while we're on the tour bus, we did have a tour guide that explained everything to us, told us about the different monuments the beautiful beaches here. And this is one of the reasons I love Mexico because Mexico has different cultures, different cities that are all unique. They're not the same. So this is why I wanted to explore all of Mexico first before I hit other continents. Now, what's pretty cool is she told us this big, huge white castle on this edge is a disco. So this is how much this town parties that they have a huge disco for you to go and have fun. And so we have arrived here at the resort where you do the salsa and salsa. And it's a two part thing. You do the salsa and salsa as well as they have the pool and beach for you to take advantage of, too. And as you can see, that's the pool and a nice view. And they had everything we needed already set up on the tables and each table had their own waiter to bring whatever you needed to make your salsa and guacamole. Here's my cousin. And she's doing the salsa dances that they were teaching us. Oh my God, they picked the perfect captain. Look it up. <laughs> they dance with tequila. Yeah, both of them. So they taught us tequila drinks to make, which was a mixture of different tequilas, lime juice. She said put both of them in there. And then we started to make different salsas. Now we didn't stay to make all because we also wanted to enjoy the pool and it was hot. So we did make guacamole salsa so and we had some enchiladas. They, they have gave this us beach here that you can enjoy. But we were warned of jellyfish, so I'm not gonna go in this ocean today. And then the nice they just had a hurricane here, believe it or not while the, the day before and the city here 
did not look like it had a hurricane at all. So they said because of the hurricane, jellyfishes come closer to the shore. And I didn't want to ruin my vacation with jellyfish bites. So I did not get in the ocean there. Um, they did have parasailing and their parasailing was from the actual beach and you fly up to the boat. So it was pretty cool. There's where the cliff divers jump. It wasn't any out at the time that we went past, but a lot of people gathered there to watch the cliff divers. And then they just showed us around Mazalan, um, looking at, again, all of the beautiful monuments. Mazalan. Learning more of the culture. Then we did head back to the port. Here at the port. And so while you wait, because you do shuttle to this port, you wait in line and you can take advantage of all the shops. I did so cool when I off with a milkshake. Room, I was like, man, they didn't make me a towel animal today. And then I looked up and look at this. It is just so amazing how they do these towel animals. I love it. Best room stewardess. <laughs> and back to the Havana bar and pool. Sharon. <laughs> Say hi. And then we did get on the water slide. And then we went to Guy's Indoor Dining to check out their menu and food. And it was great. They have live entertainment here. Improvisation. Those were the Texas nachos. And I had the Texas chili fries. Guys, picking and we both got the rib, this half rib oh. platter. I mean, it's too much food. They give oh, you. Wow. Then we head back Thank to the you. Alchemy Bar for the LGBTQ meet and greet. I got my new favorite drink, which is the basil, strawberry basil. Oh my God, the best drink. Now here's my cousin cabin, the interior Havana. So if you don't like balconies, don't want that, here you go has everything just missing the balcony and, we are and at night i mean it's beautiful this view is it's beautiful even at night nothing but ocean And then it's early in the morning and now we are headed to our Cabo excursion this was the earliest excursion ever. So we are here at Cabo San Lucas Port. I never been to Cabo San Lucas by sea, by cruise ship, only by air. And Lover's Beach is right there. And that's where you can catch a taxi to go over there and just chill at the beach. There's really nothing there, so you would have to bring like a picnic, your drinks or whatever you want to go over there. Divorce Beach is on the other side. And there be sea lions on these rocks, but it's so hot, they are not out right now. They're in the water. We saw some earlier today. But this is Cabo from the cruise ship. And today's excursion is the pirate ship. So it was 6.30 a.m. And this was the earliest excursion that I ever had. Cabo is also the shortest excursion because we're not there that long. Um, that's the only thing about if you want to experience Cabo, you have to do Cabo by air because it's so much to do in this city. It's so beautiful. I'm thankful that I just went to Cabo in June, so I kind of already know the experience. But we did catch the sunrise and the red moon um, as we were tendering to the port because you do have to tender at Cabo because the boat cannot go to the actual port because the the water the water is too shallow so you do have to take the tender to the port and we are going to be doing a pirate ship excursion so we enjoyed the views as we were still kind of wakening up for this early excursion and that is just beautiful but I highly recommend that you see Cabo by land because that city is amazing. And the only thing that you really can do in the short time that we're there 
is probably an excursion or to shop around port. There's not gonna be much you can do in I think the six hours that we were here. So you definitely wanna book a resort and stay days in Cabo because I can literally live here. This is just how beautiful the people are friendly, the food is good and the, the wildlife. Because I love whales, I love animals. You see all of that here in Cabo, depending on what season it is. The whale season is typically from like the November to March, where you see all of the whales that come down from Alaska. They come to have their babies in the warm water of Mexico. So because this was October, this really was not whale season, but we did get a little surprise while we were on the pirate ship. But technically, this is not the whale season time. You definitely want to go in the winter months for the whale season. So there is the pirate ship that we're going to get on. And we're arriving now into the Cabo port. Now around the port, they do have amazing shops, dining, a lot of different things that you can take advantage of along the port. They did have acting pirates. So we did get to see a pirate show on this ship and everybody was cool. And this is also all inclusive. So we had drinks included, liquor, food included on this sail. You have to sail if you're gonna come to Cabo. Cabo. And we're just getting on. And they actually have pirates on here. They will do a show for us. Pretty cool. Sire, this pirate. Give me a big R. He's hungry. R. R. Hey, more tequila for here, please. They need it. <laughs> Give me a big R. R. <laughs> we take a lot of showers. Now, people, don't worry. A little bit more from. We have the more special beach here in Cabo San Lucas, probably around the world. Oh, wow, this is the more special is. one because it just land it's a special place for a with your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Your and this is what I like to see, wildlife. This is why I'm going to go on the Alaskan cruise because you get to see a lot of wildlife on that cruise and I've gotten so many great feedback from Alaska cruises. So that's on my list. You must be careful. Allah, be careful. Why be careful? Because on the back side, we have the divorce bitch. If you don't like any more your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, don't worry. Just throw on the Pacific side. Yes, we have a Sometimes we have some sign of this area. And so we were just sailing along the arch. For the morning, everybody, welcome. Very beautiful. Let it go! You can see the sea lions resting here. Sharon, you see the sea lions over there? They on the rock. Well, some of them moving, you got to catch it and video it. <laughs> My cousin's so crazy. Was he going to go that way so we can see him? I see him perfectly fine from my phone. Yeah, it's a bunch of, see, he moving now. It's a, They was over there making noise a minute ago. Mm-hmm. You just got to zoom in with your camera. Yeah, they, they stand away from sharks, too. <laughs> Cabo has a lot of sharks, so those sea lions know what they're doing. They're staying away. And so they did take us where you can go, um, you know, snorkeling 
again because of the jellyfish i was not getting in that water but you know snorkeling is cool you just have to make sure you are being safe and understand that you know there are animals in these waters so and we did catch a whale i was able to pull my camera out right in time for you all to see it there it is so some whales come down early if they've gotten pregnant or for whatever reason they wanted to be ahead of the pack they can start to come down in october but it's very rare to see them in october but when you come in november especially december you will see whales all over the mexican um, coast from puerto vallada Cabo they're all along that way and you can go whale watching I have went to Puerto Vallada before and done the whale watching so I have experienced it but we lucked up and caught one that came up we were hoping that he would come back up or her but they didn't you know they took off you know but this is their mating time and this is when they have their babies and they love to have their babies in the warm water instead of in Alaska um, in the colder water. So the great thing, and then we saw some more sea lions. So the great thing about sailing on the West Coast is you are gonna see wildlife um, versus the Caribbean. You don't really see that. You don't see whales like that. You may see turtles, dolphins, but you don't see the whales and the sea lions um, coming out of Miami or Orlando. So that's the good thing about coming on the West Coast is you do have a little bit of that adventure. And they did show us the part, you know, they had a pirate show that they showed us. And we're headed back now to the Carbo port. And because you have to take that tender, you don't want to be late. So we didn't really spend too much time in Carbo, which was fine with me because I was just there. So I knew all about the city. So we got back aboard ship once we got to the port, but definitely a beautiful city. Look, my cousin's taking it all in, looking at all of those beautiful houses upon the hill there. Just beautiful. I think every couple should visit Cabo. And this was my towel animal for the day, a sea lion. And after that tour, I went just relaxed in my room for dinner. This was elegant night too. And I had on my purple. We went to the dining room for dinner. As you can see, everything was good. And I went back to my favorite bar because it was a bartender birthday and they did a little celebration for him. I got my strawberry basil drink and we just enjoyed the night relaxing since this was um, our last port night. And there's the cruise director. I There is the library bar. I did a little brief tour of that. I did put my book in there. So check out my book if you're on Carnival Panorama. And then there is the piano bar. And the towel animals they put out every day, the babies. And we are back enjoying our Havana bar. And as you can see, the Havana um, area, nobody's in there. So this is, again, why I enjoy this section. Because you are going to get that privacy and just sit back and relax and enjoy your vacation. And we did see a couple of whales going back south as we were leaving Cabo. So again, you catch wildlife on that West Coast. You just have to look for it. It's not many as you would see during whale season, but we did catch a few. And just a beautiful view from the hot tub. So, the boat is rocky. And when you're drunk, you rock side to side. <laughs> 
So people who do get seasick, let me tell you, it, it, it can rock sometimes. So you got to be ready for that. But they have several different things to help you with seasickness. So then we went for dinner at uh, Cucina del Capitan, which is the Italian restaurant. Everything was delicious there as well. I didn't record everything because I was so frantic to eat, but I love Italian food like I like Mexican food. But it was a beautiful atmosphere. And just me and my cousin went to this. My mom went to guys. She wanted ribs again. We didn't want that again. We wanted to experience this. And the chef again come to our table. I noticed they didn't come to other people's tables. So I don't know why we were lucky enough to have the chefs come to our table, but they did. They were very friendly. And then after that, we went to the white party. So this was our final night on to the cruise. And the final night, they give you a white party down at the Panorama Bar where everyone gathers. <laughs> we met some great people as well there's marty the cruise director amping everybody up for the party oh nice okay And they all danced. We all sung along to different songs. Um, they had the a crew out up front to guide everybody along the dances. And some of them were just hilarious. But Marty did a great job as a cruise director. I kind of liked his vibe. And most people had on white. Not everybody, but... Not everybody knew. So that's why it's important to know by joining groups and looking at your emails. So you'll know how to prepare for your cruise. And they do pass those globes out, those lighting sticks to everyone. Glow sticks. And I cut a lot of it out because of the music. I didn't want to get any copyright flags. So a lot of it, the sound I had, I did take out. But we were all singing along. <laughs> and the crew was amazing on here. Everybody was having fun. <laughs> As you can see, we were having a ball. their thing. They danced all night. And I definitely recommend for my LGBTQ family, cruises are all, especially Carnival, I can't speak for other cruise lines, but Carnival is LGBTQ friendly. Half of the people on the boat working are uh, LGBTQ, and they just are very accommodating for us. So I truly um, recommend anyone in the LGBTQ family to definitely cruise Carnival if you want to feel comfortable, because they are comfortable with our lifestyle. Half of them are that way. After the party, we went to a show, which was Celestial Strings. We didn't catch too many shows because we had so many other things to do. But I wanted to catch this show because a lot of people said it was more like Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean is known for having 
really good shows and this was along that line so i did go to check it out a little bit for the last night and it was great overall i give this cruise a four and the only reason I didn't give it a five is because I had a ball on Vista and Horizon out of the Miami ports. It's a different feel far as party wise, as far as the people on the West Coast. I did know it was mostly more sophisticated, older people a little bit, but it was also still a party atmosphere. But is a big difference. Make sure you take care of your stewardess. Make sure you tip them because they treat you like royalty. I love this cruise. I hope you guys enjoy watching Thank this. you for watching Chicago's Cousins Traveling. Feel free to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you.